Na afisa mkuu mtendaji wa tume ya kupambana na ufisadi humo nchini Twalib Mbarak amesema tume hiyo haina mzozo wowote na mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma ila umetofautiana na mkurugenzi huyo kuhusu suala la kuondoa mahakamani kesi zinazohusisha watu walio na ushawishi mkubwa akizungumza katika chuo kikuu cha Pwani kaunti ya Kilifi wakati wa mhadhara kwa vijana kuhusu uongozi bora Talib alisema alikutana na mwenzake Renson Mulele kujadili swala hilo Tume ya kupambana na ufisadi nchini ESCC hatimaye imevunja kimya chake kuhusiana na kile kinachobainika kuwa mkwa ruzano na mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma kuhusiana na hatua ya kuondoa mahakamani kesi zinazowahusisha watu wenye ushawishi mkubwa. Let us not say there is a fight between ESCC and ODPP. No, there is no fight. We have just agree disagree with them on three cases. Akizungumza katika chuo kikuu cha Pwani kaunti ya Kilifi wakati wa mhadhara kwa vijana kuhusu uongozi bora. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa tume ya ESCC Twalib Mbarak alisema hakuna mzozo wowote baina ya afisi hizo mbili. Yesterday I was, I was in the ODP at the National Council of Administrative of Justice at Pride in Hotel in Mombasa and we discussed so many issues that are of the benefit to all for, for I mean the ESCC and the and the, 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 the DPP. This was specific cases that we disagreed with them. But it does not mean we are at war with the whole DPP. ESC ilipinga ombi lililo wasilishwa na mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma akitaka kuondoa mashtaka dhidi ya waliokuwa maafisa wa kampuni ya kuzalisha kawi kutokana na mvuke wa ardhi GDC. Tume ya ESC hata hivyo ilipinga nia ya kuondoa mashtaka hayo yanayohusiana na matumizi mabaya ya afisi dhidi ya aliyekuwa mkurugenzi mkuu wa kampuni ya Kenya Pipeline Charles Tanui. There is no problem ODPP differing with the ESC. We have so many files that we sent to the DPP and the DPP gives concurrence for us to charge. Wakati huo huo tume ya ESC imetoa wito kwa vijana kujiepusha na ufisadi kwa vivyoote vile kwani wao ni kizazi kinacholengwa kutekwa na uovu huo. Which has not invested in integrity, we will suffer the most as young people. As we have agreed here in a forum with the youth, that it, that corruption eats into the future of our nation, and we must be able to deal with that. Abdi Azizashim, kutoka chuo kikuu cha Kwani, County, Yakilifi.